Well, I guess this is a possum trail that I've set here. This is the third possum that I've caught in just over a week. Yeah. Another possum here in the blind set, so uh, double it up on possums again. I'm here at the river, uh, kind of mostly after mink. It's a little bit early, but mink, and I'm sure we'll end up with muskrat and raccoon here. But I've got a one and a half duke there with the modified. I forget who I got those pans from, but they're a large pan. And outside laminated them uh, but it's real shiny I haven't dyed them um, I've just got it wired off to this log here and the log wedged into the rock I don't know if that'll hold a coon it's kind of a hair trigger for mink and if you can see over there I've got uh, another one and I've got fish oil poured uh, it's just kind of fried fish oil uh, poured on all those rocks and then, so all the current comes out here, and come up out of the current, and come up and step onto here. So it's just kind of a edge set. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, hoping for mink, kind of is what I'm targeting. There's tons of mink tracks here. I've got a lot of blind sets through here. There's beaver in here. Probably gonna put a 220 over there. Thing is, I gotta keep these drownings, I get, like over there, I can't check that every day. So I check it early in the morning. So, see how it goes. So on this trap, we obviously had something, but you can see the pan that caught in between the jaws, knocked all my rocks all over. I had three rocks here. They completely moved. I don't see any sign of what it was. I, Lost it, whatever it was. All right, down here on the Lacrosse River, and I had set this previously to for beaver, and the water came down, so it drops off probably five, six feet right here. So kind of freshen this up, took the slide out, I put a, got a Duke one and a half there with special mink pan, and then I uh, outside laminated them. So, kicked in a pocket set. You can see where muskrats and everything are coming in here. A nice little back swirl here, so anything coming in. The mink, and see, I, I put this log so they can cross this channel here. They'll also come in down through that. Um, then I put some anise on top of the log just to draw some stuff in. So the only worry I have is I only single wired it. I didn't really double wire it onto a drowning set. It drops off so fast. So a raccoon uh, could be a problem. Wired onto my stake, pushed it way down under in case I do get a beaver that if you choose this off, I still have the wire in there. So it's uh, again, set for mink, not really set for anything larger, but we'll see what happens. Right here along the La Crosse River, I've got a really good trail coming here and going this way. So when I followed that over, I've got uh, coyote tracks right there. So they're coming through here, hitting this, at least coming down for a drink. Uh, i got a big of coyote crap in there. And then I just set an otter set right over there. The beavers have been coming in there a little bit. But, so I'll hit this. You can see where this trail continues on here and up there. So I got a dirt hole set in and uh, all ready to go. I've got, I've been trapping across the river and I've got nothing over there. So, see how this goes. This is the set we made yesterday. Great trip. Wow, this is a monster. Holy cow, he is a good one. Uh, he's a huge raccoon here. So, hey, I'll get you let go, okay? Boy, he's old and gray. 
and then he's dark, real dark black. All right, so we'll get him let go. I gotta get back. My wife's gotta work, so we'll get him let go, and then uh, we'll remake it later today. I'll let you go, buddy. Well, you're old and big. Here's where I caught that raccoon this morning. He's got it all torn up. My pan cover, we chewed those right off. So we'll get this uh, mounded up, find our dirt hole and put it right back in. Should be some good scent here.